It is never too early to explore the cheek spreading that is a feature of Standard, especially with the arrival of Ugin Pugin. The last time Ugin was in Standard, it saw a good amount of play, and back then they didn't have good ramp cards like Uro. So the question then becomes, which Ugin deck will see the most play? A lot of people seem to think that it's going to be Bant Ramp, others say it will be Sultai Ramp, or perhaps a different deck entirely. And it is very tough to say what is the best deck, because the word best is very vague. For example, I could say that I have the best schlong, and clarify by saying that it's the best at being the smallest. And that would be true, at least according to my mama. So we could define the best Ugin deck as the most played deck, and at least initially, it's like to be toss up between Bant Ramp and Sultai Ramp, with Sultai Ramp perhaps having a slight edge. But if we're talking about the best deck to utilize Ugin, then a great contender would be Ugin Mutate, which can get out Ugin as early as turn three by playing a Mana Dork, ramping with Great Horn, and then Castle into Ala, which when it mutates, we exile the top X permanents of our library, where X the number of times this creature has mutated, and we put those permanents into play. And if one of those permanents is an Ugin, then that would be Muy Grande. But as a backup plan, we have Nissa. Nissa doubles our forest mana, but more importantly, when it makes creatures, those creatures are colorless, which means when we use Ugin's wipe ability, our land creatures are safe. It is is pretty good. And speaking of pretty good, Horus is also giving us Ranger's Guile. For one mana, it gives a creature hexproof, and that is very useful in a deck where we often just have one giant creature. As for the rest of the deck, we have one ooze, Polywag, which lets us draw and discard, which means if we get Ugin too early, we can just discard it. Then we have Artifact Enchantment Hate, Creature Bounce, and Card Draw. Here is what the sideboard looks like, but for today's gameplay testing, we'll say no sideboard. So now let's get to that gameplay. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more standard content. Without further ado, here's the gameplay, and I hope you enjoy. Opening hand, light on lands, but we do have a grazer, so we'll keep. Hooray for a land off the scry. Hooray. Wanna play land and passes back? Suspicious. Too bad for them. A ramp and swing for three. Back on their turn, they play Runaway. And oh my, this is so good. Six mana mutate. He's so nice. What shall we hit here? Not Ugin, but we can't complain. Swing for six. Back on their turn, they play Annex. But then they pass back. Time for Big Spanks. Play Polywag. Mutate. And come on, where that Ugin at? Oh, look at that. Two Ugins. Could this go any better? I think not. Now let's wipe just like mommy showed me how. Beautiful. Our opponent is still hanging in there. <laughs> Exile. And let's finish strong. I think we have lethal. <laughs> Uh, that was a close one. Now it's on to game two. In game two, this hand seems okay. Shore Shark especially. So we shall keep. I'm play Spitter. And we shall play Goose. I'm play Robber. Swings. Robber hits a Shore Shark. Blocks like that. We're at 17. Back on our turn, our hand's kind of lame here. At least until we get Shore Shark. Actually, Goose could be pretty good here. Yeah, we'll go with Goose. And pass back. I'm play Xanax. They swing. And might as well do this. Walk here. Pump to kill. They get a token and it's back to us. And this be a tough call here, but I think it's time to shake some titties. Untap swing. Will our opponent block? No, they do not. Now, the question is, do we play Ooze here? It'd be vulnerable to removal. And if we lose the Ooze, there goes Nissa. But if we lose the Forest, then there goes our land. So let's actually play the Ooze here and see what happens. Oh, they stomp, which means there goes Nissa. Back on our turn, we pull Symbiote. Let's swing. Play the Symbiote. And it's back to our opponent. Oh, an opponent swings with all of them. Very suspicious. Maybe they're just going to pump with the Emberith. But they could also have Ember Cleave. You know, I think we just got to play it safe here. And it just blocks like that. Oh, they do have Ember Cleave. That is a problem because that's lethal. So it's on to game three. Opening hand, this be pretty bad, so we're gonna have to mull. And we'll try and make this work. Play Grazer. Scry. Meh, no. And let's see what our opponent's got. Opponent begins with Champion. We pull another Shore Shark. Okay. So it's back to our opponent. Opponent plays Runaway and passes. Oh, and how nice. Well, Shore Shark on our opponent's turn, but for now, we'll pass back. Oh, opponent plays Annex. So will they attack here? They're thinking about it. Because if they do attack, we'll bounce Annex and kill one of their creatures. Oh, so they choose not to attack. How smart of them. Okay, okay, Shore Shark. And pray for a land. Hooray! That was extremely lucky. Because we have the castle and this big hoe. Bounce run away. No Ugin, but we do have another shore shark. I don't think our opponent's surviving this, but now it's time to punish. Mutate. Bounce both their creatures and... Oh, I was hoping for an Ugin. Not that we really need it. Swing for 13. And not surprisingly, our opponent concedes. Okay, big boys, time to reflect on the mono red matchup. After that recorded match, the opponent and I played some additional games. Despite the immense spanking in the recorded match, our deck won a total of five games and their deck won a total of five games. Shore shark was by far the best card we had against them. Being able to bounce one of the creatures really set them back. And had we used sideboards, the Drake would probably tilt things our way. But that is all for Mono Red. Now it's time to move on to the next matchup. Opening hand, not spectacular. We have turn one goose, turn two octopus. That should work. Pono plays a cat. We pull guile. Play the goose and pass back. Pono plays a land and passes. And now it'll be octopus time. Swing. Mutate. And we draw a shark. Opponent hits us for one and plays Woe Strider. Okay. Since they have Woe Strider to sack, we have to watch out for claim the firstborn. So we'll either need to play Shore Shark to up our mana cost or just go with Guile. And I think Guile is a better route here. So we'll do that. Swing for two. We draw a land. Play a goose and pass back. Oh, what do you know? It's claim the firstborn. But guess what? 
what? Hmm, Guile. <laughs> so no octopus for you. But what's these? A second claim, this time on the goose. Okay. They hit us for four. They make a food and they sack. That shouldn't be too much of a problem. Well, let's go shore shark. Bouncing the low strider. Hit them for four. And Nissa, nice. Low strider comes back. We take one and it's back to us. It is time to shake them titties. Swinging. Opponent chumps. They go to seven. Oh, and it just keeps coming. Might as well play the grazer. Bottom nut. And let's see what our opponent's got left in them. Opponent swings. We shall chump. Then there's low strider. But since it's back to us, it's time for our opponent to get spanked. Untap a land. How wonderful. Exile three or less. Our opponent will be sacking in response. And since that is seven damage, there's the game. Gosh, don't you just love how lands are colorless? But now it's on to game two. Opening hand, this will not cut it. We're gonna mull. Oh boy, this is pretty bad. But just like my mama said about me, I guess we have to keep it. Oh, we gotta be kidding me. What are the odds? Okay, back to opponent. Our opponent plays priest. That is pretty good against us. But at least we pull polywag. Play polywag. Opponent plays mayhem devil and passes back. Well, we'll hold on to the octopus and pass back. Our opponent be swinging with the devil. We'll take it. Then they play trail of crumbs and the cat. Not looking great, but flashing the octopus. Shore shark that's pretty good. We'll discard like that. And now let's do this. Swing and then shore shark. Come and grazer and bounce the priest. Hooray. We draw Ugin and then we'll pass back. Upon a replays the priest. Swings for three. But unfortunately for our opponent, the castle makes six. Mutate. Once again, bounce the priest. And kind of a whiff there. And now time to swing. Opponent chumps and then brings back the cat. I'm not sure how they're going to turn this around. Opponent plays an oven. Priest again. And a goose. They swing for three. We'll chump and they pass back. Gosh, one mana off from Ugin. Wait a minute. Wait. I can't count because that's two, four, six, seven, and eight, which means it's Ugin time. Exile three or less. Upon will be doing the sack. So many sacks. But now we swing. They bring back the cat. It's us for one. Plays another priest. And it's back to us. Exile. They sack the cat. And how about this? That's a lot of mutate. Mm, that's a Mexican creature. We spanked them for nine. Now let's see if they can pull off the comeback of the century. No, they do not because there's a concede. Oh, and they had a claim in hand. You'd think that card would be good against us, but we have so many cards with high converted mana cost that once we start mutating, claims kind of meh. And just like against the mono red matchup, Shore Shark definitely saved us. But now beyond to the next matchup. Opening hand has Goose and Symbiote, so we'll keep. Are with Goosey. Upon plays land and passes. We'll play Poliwag and then pass back. Upon plays land and passes. Oh, the castle. We'd be very close to playing the big boy. Actually, we could just hard cast it this turn. That might be the safest option. Mm, discard. And well, it hit. Yeah. Okay, swing for one. And a turn, Pound Gross Spirals. Oh, and a Wilderness Reclamation. This could be tricky. Oh, safest option. Swing for seven. Upon it takes it. And we'll hold the shark in hand. Upon it ops. And what is these? Shark Typhoon for six. And we could try and bounce the token, but if they're leaving one open, they have to have Mystical Dispute. So instead of mutating now, well, let's make a token. And now that's our turn again. And now we mutate. Of course, there's Dispute. We'll pay it. Oh, and Nissa shakes them titties. That's pretty good. And now we have another tough call here. If they have Aether Gust in hand, we should probably put the Shore Shark on top. So that's a blue creature. Then it's losing two power, but I think we got to do that now that we're tapped out. So now it's blue. Oh, and our big boy hit a Grazer. How wonderful. Okay, swing for five. Oh, is it seven now? It's back to them. Oh, what is this? He's not good. Oh boy, they slam our dude for eight and they draw eight cards. Okay. And wait, do we have lethal? Oh, <laughs> we do. Time to start shaking. Untap a land. Swing for four. One damage off. So tragic, but too bad because now that's lethal. Oh, dang, they were so close to spanking us. But now it's on to game two. Opening hand. Oh no, we're mulling. And this is a bit better, so we're going to keep. Pull land. Nice. Play grazer. Fun plays on tap land and passes. Attempt to mutate. Aether gust. Fine. Take that whole bag. These untapped lands make me sod in punts. But ooh, symbiote. That's nice. Attempt the symbiote. They counter. Fine. Be that way. Now it's back to our opponent. Oh, and it's our good old friend Reclamation. They have one card in hand. I think we just got to go for it. Play the big boy. Opponent cycles. And it hits. Uh-oh, stinky. It's Sharknado. And oh, so close. Okay, we'll go with the Great Horn. Come on, something good. Oh, it's a land. Okay, back to our opponent. Oh my gosh. So it'll be Sharks versus Justice. Ooh, that pretty good. Mutate. And come on, daddy needs something good. A Nissa And another Grazer. Oh. But the Nissa is most good because now we can do this. Mutate again. Oh my gosh, so many permanents. One nut, two nuts with Ugin. And a third nut. Let's exile their shark. Animate a land. Swing for nine. And what they gonna do about this? They opt. They grow spiral. But no more lands in hand for them. Oh, how the mighty have fallen. Goodbye, tokens. And how about one more massive spank? For old time's sake, this looks fair. <laughs> Oh. But I can't help but feel like we got extremely lucky here. Reclamation is the most played deck in standard, but like, Ugin pretty good. Luckily we survived that, now it's on to the next match. Opening hand, not the greatest, but not the worst, so we'll keep. Play Poliwag. Opponent plays land and passes, and I suppose Gem Razor. Discarding a land. Swing for one. And then turn opponent Grow Spiral. Someone plays a fourth land and passes. Now let's start by swinging for five. What is these? Grow Spiral. And oh, an Aether Gust. But too bad. So opponent takes six. And back to opponent. Five green mana. Or Nissa, who shakes them titties. Opponent animates land and swings. But 
we'll do this. Send blade out. But we bounce our land to hand, and it's back to us. Gem rays are cool, but I'm a bit worried about board wipe. But we kind of need to filter our hand a bit. Let's first take out Nissa, play Poliwag, and hard cast the gem razor. Ooh, that good. Let's see if they have the board wipe. No board wipe, but Elspeth conquers death, taking out our gem razor. And luckily, we have lethal. Mutate Poliwag for four. Hooray. And swing for 14. So we're going to game two. Opening hand kind of bad, but it's not too bad if we hit some lands. So we'll keep. And ooh, Grazer. Play Grazer. Final plays land and passes. And ew, we hit a land. Okay, play Goosey. Oh, a blast zone. Why wow, they gotta be that way. Oh, well, play Poliwag. And back to Honan. Why? Oh, so much for blast zone. So no more creatures for us. Oh, land will just have to flash in the shark on our opponent's turn. Oh, and it's the fairy. Okay, we'll have to flash in now and we'll probably get bounced. Yeah. Come on, we need something good. Oh, that's not good. So just play the shark now. Opponent plays land and passes. And oh my gosh, we hit a land. Fine, swing it to fairy. Will it go through? Yep, the fairy goes to Jesus. And at the end of the turn, they buff up blast zone. Opponent scries and passes back. What is happening? Scry, shore shark? If we keep shore shark, they might hit with blast zone. So we'll bottom both. We pull an octopus, swing, and then octopus. We draw. And a great horn that's not so great. The hard cast. It hits. And blast zone moves up to five counters. Opponent plays land and passes again. Might as well gain life. Oh, oh wait, but not now, not now. But oh, let's swing. They crack the blast zone. And an aether gust. Okay. I suppose bottom. And now it's time for Ugin Pugin. Hooray. Slam our opponent for three. Now let's see if they have Elspeth Conquers Death. On Grow Spirals. Plays to fairy. Bouncing our food to draw. And they be passing back. Oh, goody, a grazer. We'll just hit them for three. Play grazer. And pass back. On its cycle. Scries. Ups to fairy and passes. We'll scry. Gem razor, I guess. And you know what? How often do we get to ultimate Ugin? We'll do that. So we gain seven life. Draw seven cards and put seven permanents onto the battlefield. Oh, many options. How about these seven? Then with this Ugin, hit their Teferi and back to our opponent. What is these? Oh, a hydroid. Fine. And a turn will scry. Meh, bottom both. And might as well scry on our upkeep as well. Nissa, okay. Let's exile this hydroid. Hooray. Then play Nissa. Spanking our opponent for 10. How will they get out of this? They play Teferi. They up Teferi. They play Uro. And very suspiciously, they pass back. Mm, bottom both. Ooh, that nice. Since they didn't bring back Uro, they have to have Shattered the Sky. So we'll play Dumb and Swing. Oh, look, what a surprise. Now let's exile their Teferi. Activate Nissa. Play this big hoe and pass back. Another Shatter of the Sky. Then they bring back Uro. Oh, and then they play Nissa. Hitting our Ugin. Now it's back to us. This might be a bad move, but let's do this. Take out their land. Tap all of our lands because I don't want to do the math. Untap a land. Play our second Ugin and exile five or less. We lose our Nissa as well, but we have a second one. Animate a land. Swing for six. And it's back to our opponent. Oh my gosh, it never ends. They bring back Uro and play a Nissa. Okay. Why can't things ever be easy? Okay, okay. Scry on our upkeep. No to both. Yikes. Well, animate a land. Swing all at Nissa. If they want to save the Nissa, they'll have to block with Uro, which they do. But now kill Uro. Play the big boy and pass it back to them. They cycle a wilt and they bring back Uro. Please just end it, please. Scry and all that good. Let's mutate, animate a land. And finally, our opponent concedes. Okay. They also forgot to up the Nissa last turn, but who can blame them with all the stuff going on? But at that point, it's too late. Once Ugin came out, it's really hard to come back from that because even if you pull an Ugin of your own, you can't simultaneously deal with your opponent's Ugin and the field. But we got really lucky in that match. Our opponent had 23 cards left in deck and they hadn't hit either Ugin yet. And we just happened to hit ours first. And even though we did well in all of our matches, all of those wins did feel lucky. Because when you have a ramp deck like this, it depends on getting cards at the right time. Sometimes your opening hand just has the wrong cards. And sometimes it has the right cards. And in the matches today, we just happen to have the right cards at the right time. So will this deck be the best Ugin deck? That's still pretty hard to say. It does seem to do well late game as well as early game. But again, it's kind of a luck driven deck where you need the right cards at the right time. And over the course of 10, 12 matches, you're going to get unlucky sooner or later. Okay, I'm starting to ramble at this point. Final conclusion, Ugin Mutate is very viable, but we cannot yet count out Ugin Bant Ramp or Ugin Sulti Ramp, and only time will tell which is the best. But that is all for now. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more standard content. And here are today's winners of the free deck box giveaway. You could win one as well. All you gotta do is interact in the comment section below. But that wraps up this video. Stay safe, and as always, I hope you have a great day.